Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Obviously, we're going to talk about the fight that went on between the Saints and the Bucks. So I won't say fight. Let's call it a scuffle because that's not really a fight. But Ian Rappaport is reporting, uh, and I quote, The actions of Bucks wide receiver Mike Evans will be reviewed by the league officials for a possible suspension. Source says, Evan and the Saints cornerback Marshawn Lattimore were both ejected during an on-field scuffle. And the entire matter will be reviewed. Now, a couple things from this. Let's just kind of start with all parties involved. Uh, we can start with Bruce Arians, who first, I think, was talking to Marshawn Lattimore. The league is already trying to figure out why he's retired. He's still on the field. Kind of in a coaching role. Don't really know what he was doing out there, so the league is definitely going to, you know, review that. I remember game one, they kept showing him on TV when they played the Cowboys. He was in a press box, but they played the Saints, and he decided to come on the field. Don't know why he, you know, assumed that role. Obviously, it's the Saints. It's a, it's becoming a new rivalry between the Saints and the Bucks. so maybe he wanted to be on the field. I don't know if he should have been there or should not, but the league will review that. Then we can just go to Tom Brady. Nothing will happen to Tom Brady, obviously. He didn't really get into anything. He started it all. Kind of somewhat, but didn't throw any punches. Nobody touched him. Of course, nobody's going to really go after the quarterback in these situations. Everybody's defending. Fournette, he gave a little shove. Not suspension worthy. Maybe get a fine. You know, not a big fine. He didn't really do too, too much, even though he kind of instigated the whole situation. Then Lattimore pushed back. But then you get Mike Evans once again charging in off the sideline, pushing Marshawn Lattimore, kind of like, you know, from the blind side, even though he hit him in the front. Lattimore didn't see it coming. And honestly... After all that happened, it got reviewed in New York. It should have been a simple, Mike Evans, you're out the game. Everybody else is fine, and I would have been okay. Everything would have been okay with me with the ruling. But the NFL 100% got this wrong on the field, and I'm just saying this with no bias, no bias to the Saints involved. Just watching the uh, video, watching it again, Mike Evans should have been the only person thrown out. And if he, if he was thrown out, I wouldn't even care about a suspension right now. But I do think he's going to face suspension because this is not his first time doing this. This is like the third scuffle they've had. And in Marshawn Lattimore's defense, He's always been a guy that retaliated. He hasn't instigated any of these things. It's always guys mad because they're getting locked down. It's funny because, like I said uh, yesterday, Jameis Winston is really the guy who started all this, putting his finger on Lattimore's helmet. You know, Lattimore kind of knocks his hand off, and then Mike Evans comes from 20 yards away, full speed, hits a guy in the back. How he didn't get suspended there is absolutely insane. That was much worse than what he did this week, but I think, you know, being a repeat offender, he's finally going to uh, face suspension for that. They say Marshawn Lattimore is facing suspension as well just because I guess this thing has been an ongoing thing. But if he gets suspended, the NFL has screwed the Saints once again, but we won't jump to to those conclusions just yet and if we're being honest I have no care in the world if Mike Evans gets suspended or if you know something happens to Tom Brady like Fortnite uh, Arians I just don't care uh, obviously I only care about Marshawn Lattimore here because if Mike Evans gets suspended that doesn't help the Saints I don't care what they do what they should have done was kick Mike Evans out that game and kept playing football. But no, they kicked both of those guys out. And this is just going to be the NFL once again saying, oh, we got the call rolling on the field. Even though that came from the NFL, not from the refs on the field. Oh, we got it wrong. We'll make up for it. Let's suspend Mike Evans. That does nothing for me. That's just showing y'all the incompetent. You don't know what you're doing. And quite honestly, I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting super, super tired of it. But, hey, man, it is what it is. The show must go on. The Saints are one and one I'll definitely have more from them from this game later. Uh, definitely going to review, you know, the Winston footage, the defensive footage, who I think played really, really well. Alante Taylor, you can expect a breakdown on him. Probably Pete Warner. The defensive line struggles. There's going to be a lot probably from this week. So be on the lookout for that, man. I just want to touch on this suspension or possible suspension coming down on Mike Evans, Lattimore everybody involved and we'll see what happens hopefully the league gets it right but at the end of the day like I said I don't care you know what happens because it's not going to help the Saints it can only hurt the Saints anything that comes from this can only hurt the Saints nothing can help if they suspend Lattimore it hurts if they suspend Evans that doesn't help us so it can only hurt us and I mean that's just kind of how the league deals with us deals with us but hey it is what it is man let me know what y'all thoughts are on this who should get suspended who should get fined should nothing happen should they just let everybody go on let me know in the comments below and as always just the boot tragedies and I'm out